Hey, Stupchek here. Welcome to my tutorial on how to make a tumbleweed in Blender. Now, this is going to be a very simple tutorial and it's going to be suited more for beginners, maybe intermediates. Um, I'm going to try to make it as simple as possible. But yeah, I, this is actually from my scene, from my diploma film that I was making. And as you can see, like in this scene, it's like uh, very depressing, like just like my channel. <laughs> so that's also the reason why I wanted to make this tutorial. Um, before we begin, I have to mention that this is my first tutorial. So you're going to have to expect that it is going to be the best tutorial on the Internet. So let's begin. All right. First thing. Okay. For the cartoony one, we will first start by adding a simple icosphere. All right. Now, okay. For the next part, uh, you're going to have to check if you had the another add-on. We just control control alt u we open up the blender user preferences again we're gonna look if we have uh -huh, okay yes okay i have the add mesh extra objects already tucked tucked on you have to need this for the next thing okay the next thing we're gonna put the click on the bottom of the icosphere we're going to press shift a again add a mesh and a single vert now we have a single vert underneath the sphere and the next thing we have to like press is set this magnet down here this will snap our vertices onto anything that we choose it to be i'm gonna click here and then set the snap element to face. All right. Now, this is how we're going to make the main branches for our bush. From this vert, we're going to press E to extrude. And you can see we, ha we, s we have this another edge extruding. And it's sort of popping on to the surface of the icosphere. Basically, this icosphere is going to hold as like a mold for our bush. So we can see that the branches go to, so that the branches like follow like a curvy ball type shape. Now, after this, we're just going to expand more, more of these vertices and just like create a simple. I think it would be better if we set the view mode to X-ray, so we can sh actually see the meshes instead of like protruding through the ball. And I think we can just set the modifier around here. I'm gonna add a modifier called skin. It's under this uh, wrench thing, and as you can see, this creates like a boxy it's like a yeah basically like a, it creates like a, a mesh around this single edge It's very useful for these type of things uh, one problem with this is that this looks very very too thick too thick I'm gonna uh, hold on If I know, hmm, forget how to do this again. Okay, I'm just gonna resize it here and just wrap this back onto this. Do I have screencast on? No, I do not. Sorry. Screencast every time. You know, I was watching those other 
tutorials on Blender and I thought, man, those people who forget screencasts every time are so unprepared. <laughs> Lucky for me, I am much smarter than them. Uh, here we go. Screencast. Start. Bigger text. Okay, sorry about that. Anyway, when we start this, um, yeah, basically what we do is just follow the branches around this icosphere. Just extend here and here. I think it's better to like view this in uh, wireframe mode so you can see the vertices. You can just extend one here. Oh, wait. E. E is for extrusion. Another one here. I can just do whatever you like. Z for to move out of the wireframe mode. And one needs to think like to modify the width of each of these branches. While in while you're in edit mode, you have to press Control A, and then you can resize them. Here we go. We just resize them a little bit. And here. It here. The usually like the way you should follow for these branches is they have to be the thickest at the bottom and then when you go further up to the tree I mean the bush you go thinner so that creates like a more convincing bush although this one is cartoony so and another one here and this you know extend as much as you can extrude back to smaller and it does repeat this process a couple of times. You can pick up multiple of these vertices, like if you press Z again, I have, you see you can, I pressed one, two, two of these vertices, and you hold together A, and it scales both smaller. Oops. Oops. There we go. We add another one here. E quite relaxing process I really oops not G but E press E okay sometimes this weird thing happens when you have to when the branches doesn't collide pretty well have to like fix it with this. Hmm. Doesn't do much. Polys, no. I think you just have to move it around a bit. Just have no. insert another one of these vertices here with control R. And then you click in the middle of them and you have one in between these two. This way makes uh, the cut on this branch a bit less rough. We add more branches here and we try to like complete like the whole circle together. There's another branch here, another one here. Not really, really fast here because I'm ready eating up on this time now we resize them a bit This was mainly like to make it as cartoony as simple. Not to bother much with, you know, 
biological accuracy or anything like that just simple stuff as long as it good, looks good in the end doesn't matter what mm. looking pretty good so far mm -hmm. we can add one a bit here Another one here, maybe this one here. I know I'm like really rushing through this whole project, but it's like try not to be so complex about it. Bit better here. I had to bit control this one too, so it doesn't pop out so much. There we go. <coughs> Okay, we finished with this. Now, next step is that we take the whole object and we duplicate it. We can actually move the icosphere a bit away. Okay. Okay, so this is our bush now. If we press Shift Z, you can see that's looking quite interesting. Like a very like minimal bush good bush 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 then next step is to duplicate the whole object by pressing shift D and then we press exit so it stays in the same place and when then we press S to scale it up a bit push it a bit upwards And then I'm just going to modify this one a bit by deleting this vertex. Oh. Oh yeah, this is if this um the one thing that the skin modifier works if if one of the vertices is like the main vertex. So, you have to mark one as root, then it works. So, it just, you know, if you delete the root vertice, which is this one that's like surrounded with this red circle, you just have to mark it root. Okay, now that we selected this object, we just go in uh, ortho view and press 5 and then 7. I'm gonna see from up top. Then I'm gonna press rotate R and just rotate it like into the opposite direction. Maybe scale it down a bit more, like drag it a bit into more to the middle. So you can see it's getting a bit more fuller, it doesn't feel as empty as before. Then we're gonna just duplicate the same thing again, Shift D, exit, scale it up a bit, a bit more, and put, shove it a bit up. Oh. We can like turn off the magnet thingy. <laughs> Man, my terminology is so good. <laughs> the magnet thingy. <laughs> okay, press the five. Okay, oh yeah, we're already in ortho view, so we press seven. Rotate it a bit. Uh, maybe we can go in edit mode by pressing tab and then selecting all the vertices with the A. And just uh, using Control A. To make those uh, branches even smaller. A bit. Much better now, I believe. Yep, now looks like a convincing tumbleweed. Okay, so we've done that. Then we have to select all of the branches 
and press Ctrl J. This way, all of them are connected into a single object, so I can move them around. Now we can add them, add the add a shader. We can use like a very yellowish color. Yeah, this kind of works. Um, now we can keep the modifier on or we can apply it. I would prefer to put it on so it doesn't get too much, uh, to, so it doesn't like render too much with the high poly meshes that if we put apply on will create. But we can turn on the flat shading Oh wait, the smooth shading, so it doesn't look wait, smooth. I had to click it here. Yeah, you can click it here for smooth shading and supposedly it'll look a bit better. Wow, this one is really bad. <laughs> okay, we can fix it. We can go through that under edit mode, select all vertices, press Ctrl A, make it all a bit more thinner. Hey, okay, this is good. This is interesting, maybe. Let's keep this one a bit fatter. This one too, okay. Ah, there we go. Now that's a looking nice tumbleweed. Not as realistic, but it still works. Okay. Well, that's about it for this tutorial. So I hope I said something informal or at least like taught you something. If not, I'm sorry. <laughs> I am going to make some more tutorials, so I will try to like improve by then. Um, but yeah, if you haven't like subscribed to this channel, I might post like some other things like maybe some speed paints or animations. I'm definitely going to post a lot of animations here, but uh, the most so active social media I'm on is Instagram. So you should like follow me there as well. I also, I mean, I will like, put every like uh, links to all my channels and pages and whatever on my description. But yeah, I hope my accent wasn't too thick for you. Um, yeah, thanks for watching.